My granny used to always say, don't be afraid of going slow, only of standing still. Oh, I like that. Yes. For me, for my category, is that uh, they don't know their sizes. I think we get stuck in a rut at some point when we feel our best, or maybe we, f we see ourselves a certain way that nobody else sees us. We think, okay, I'm this size, this is what represents me. We don't realize that our bodies are constantly changing. Every few years, we should probably just check in to make sure our sizing is correct. So the issue I had the most was that people weren't wearing the right size shirts or jeans. If your shoulder seam's not in your shoulder, it's probably not the right size for you. It's a simple one that I thought that everybody knew, but apparently not. Men and women both struggle with a lot of the same things with grooming and self-care, and it's really like having a disproportionate relationship with grooming in your life, meaning either you don't have enough of a relationship or you have way too much of one. So it's just kind of about a lack of understanding about balance and where the balance plays into grooming and self-care. And I would say for me what I realize is that, and this is either for men or women, is that at some point we stop being curious about life and we stop being curious about ourselves. We no longer, we feel like, I know who I am. You know, anytime I hear someone say, I am who I am, I just wanna shake them. Because I think when you, when you don't allow yourself to be curious anymore, you stop growing. And is there a, a fashion or grooming choice that you've made in the past that you look back now and think, whoa? Oh my God. Yes. I was a product of <laughs> hip hop culture. So I used to be, I used to wear long white tees all the way down to here and oversized jeans. Cargo <laughs> shorts with all tube socks, two yeah. pairs of tube all socks, one on top of the other. The Justin Bieber haircut I had like six years ago for a year or Did you really? Years.